Every operation, if you look around the world today, where the American people have committed soldiers. Combat operations, peacekeeping, peace support missions, guerrilla insurgency kind of fights, humanitarian relief, humanitarian support. All those operations, their mission success depend on boots on the ground. Soldier's just a regular guy that's, that's willing to pay just a little bit more for his freedom and willing to do a little bit more for other people's freedom. We're raised in the same small town, born and raised there, never left, never went anywhere. He joined the military a year after he graduated high school. You know, we were really just kids then. They're no different than the Joe or the Jane that grew up with them, but they have done something else that most of the Americans don't do. They stepped forward, raised their hand, taking an oath of office to their country. I have pledged my loyalty, my oath to the nation. I cannot tell you the pride that is instilled in that statement. They're terrific fighters. And there is a sense of personal courage, teamwork, and initiative that many of us think distinguishes them when you look back over the 200 plus years of our history. Putting boots on the ground is nothing new. The Army's been doing this for over 230 years. Putting boots on the ground and making a difference. I am a veteran of all three wars. I go when they call me. The days of my father and my grandfather going off to fight a war and returning home to flags and parades and going back to civilian life. That's not what this war is all about. It's being fought by long service professionals dedicated to the profession of arms, willing to treat service in the American Army as a lifelong career choice and a commitment. send 19 and 20 year old young men and young women to these days out there and we expect them to work miracles. We expect them to stand on a police checkpoint and keep the peace between two peoples who want to kill each other. And here's this kid and he's going to make life and death decisions. And usually he makes the right ones. It's a war in which the human element prevails over the technological element. It's a war that's going to be won by our ability to influence the will of other people. 